nigga, I turn nothing into something. My head was in that pot, I was tryna make something. Oh yeah, these niggas be fake, so I'm watching these niggas clutching my pistol, tryna slide on me, then I'm gon' kill him. I'm not tryna kick it, niggas be fake. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy's coming to you guys with another video. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and drop your comments down below about if you agree with me or you don't. Now, we're going to get straight into the top five pink diamond rewards. As you guys see, I do have five of them, but these three cards right here are the bottom eight of out of the eight. These are the bottom three. John Stockton, do not get him. He's the worst one. He's six one, and that's just it. He has pretty decent stats, but being six one, 170 pounds, he's going to get pushed around. Nobody runs small point guards like that. Like, if someone's gonna run a small point guard like that, it's gonna be Allen Iverson. Like, no one's gonna run this point guard anymore. 6'1. Like I said, he's just too small. He has like a 31 strength. He's gonna get bullied if you pick him. Choose wisely. Do not pick John Stockton. On to the next worst card. So basically, you can say this is the seventh rank. Jojo White, he's only 6'3, mediocre three point shot, and mediocre badges. He didn't, don't get me wrong, he does have good badges. Um, and if you guys ask me how I know this, I've seen a ton of gameplay on it. I play the game a lot. I have all the, I have most of the cards, so you guys should understand where I'm coming from. Defensive stopper Hall of Fame. He has some pretty decent badges Hall of Fame, but for the most part, he's only 6'3". So who really wants a 6'3 point guard that really doesn't have much of a good jump shot, much of a good whatever? You get what I'm saying. And um, the sixth best, basically, Paul Pierce. Um, the only good thing about this Paul Pierce is his shooting literally like he's really slow He only has an 82 speed and an 80 speed with ball. That's way too slow. That's like some center stuff right there Or some power forward like to only have an 82 speed with ball is Terrible, so yeah, please do not get this Paul Pierce and his jump shot is super slow That's another thing about Paul Pierce. He has pretty decent badges, but his jump shot is super slow but yeah, that's pretty much it for those bottom three. I'm going to get into the top five right now. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with me in the comments section down below. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the worst three. Now let's get into the top five. All right. So yeah, y'all see it right here coming in at number five. We got Dikembe Mutombo. Now Dikembe Mutombo, he's a defensive beast. He runs the court super fast. As you guys see, I put a speed show on him. It does give him a better draw foul, which goes all the way to a 99. So him being 7-2 and being in that paint, being able to dunk really well. You see him with a 97 standing dunk, 90 contact dunk. And those do get boosts with my coach. He has basically max defense, 98 block, 98 shot contest, 86 steal, 98 rebounding, um, 87 speed, which goes to a 91 with my coach, 99 defense. All his defense is basically like a 99. And the badges, bro, the badges are super good. Like basically what makes this card so godly is those three badges right there. Rim protector, defensive stopper, and hustle rebounder. Having those three badges are super, super clutch. But I'm pretty much just going to shoot around and show what he can do. So when we go into the shoot around now, like obviously you you guys just saw it. He literally cannot shoot the three. He cannot shoot the mid-ranger. But he does have a post game. Not a post fadeaway. He can do post hooks. He could post spin. Um, he could dunk the ball, run the floor, block really well, and he's going to shut down the paint and shut down all those super cheesy centers. So if you guys don't have a center and you guys come to the pink diamond board, this is the fifth best option simply because of the fact of how fast he is. Even with even without my shoe and the um, coach boots, he's pretty fast anyways for a seven foot two center that can jump out the gym and get rebounds. So yeah, that's pretty much it with the camera with tumble coming in, in at number five on to number four. So coming in at number four, we got the greatest small, <laughs> why did I say small forward? The greatest power forward of all time, Tim Duncan. The man is a god. Now, the reason why he's coming in at number four, because, I mean, he is a 98, but, like, he does have a mediocre drive and layup. Um, he's not a he's not a super athletic player. His mid range is really good. His post game is really basically perfect. He can literally post fade away, post hook, all that good stuff. But like I said right there, like he does have decent dunking, but he's not super duper athletic and he's not super quick. He does have a 96 block with a 97 shot contest. Still is pretty mediocre with a 74, but he's gonna get it done. 95 rebounding, only an 85 offensive rebounding, so I really don't like that. 78 speed, which does go up to like about an 82 with that coach boost that I have on him, and his defense is max. So you're going to get the best from him defensively. 
so yeah that's why he's coming in at, in at number four as you look at his badges he has all the badges that you need brick wall defensive stopper rim protector hustle rebounder so even though he does only have an 85 rebounding he is still going to get the rebounds and he pretty much has all the post badges so if you do want to go into the post with him he's definitely going to be super dominant there so we're going to take a look at his animations right now now when we go to his animations his jump shots it's pretty easy now he does only has a he, he only has a 73 three-pointer but it does go to a 77 with my coach boost so he's going to hit him pretty consistently in the corner even if you only have the 73 he does come with corner specialist on gold so yeah usually if he's in the corner and you pass it to him with someone that has dimer he's going to pretty much make the um three-pointer his post fadeaway is not that good um that one right there going to the right is pretty good um, he does have a pretty decent post uh, post hook. So, yeah, anytime you go into the post with him, he's going to do really well. And he's going to make his open shots. And he's going to lock down and rebound. So, yeah, that's Tim Duncan at number four. Now, coming in at number three, we got Patrick Ewing. Now, literally... People are going to argue that this card could be number one, but the reason why I don't put him number one, because not everyone likes to use centers, but as you can see right there, he's all around card, 92 layup, basically max post up offense. He has an 88 three-pointer with the coach boost, because you get a plus four with Mike D'Antoni, 95 contact dunk, he has all that, 98 block, um, what else? 91 speed which goes to a 95 bro the speed goes to a 95 with my coach boost so this man is literally running on the court in a in like two seconds he has a rim protector um hustle rebounder relentless finisher that's also another rare like a very important badge to have on the center relentless finish is super important and i put all the shooting badges on him so he's pretty much badged out he could rebound defend shoot post fadeaway this card is literally an all-around center does not he has no weakness the only weakness that you can complain about and the reason why i put him at number three is that jump shot his jump shot is super slow not super slow um you do have to get used to it now i'm used to it i pretty much green up with him from the mid-ranger and from the three-point line when i'm open and i'm focused you're pretty much going to get green so yeah you're not going to have any trouble with this card he has good post fadeaway good post hook a decent uh decent release that's the only flaw about this card is the release that's why i put him at number three if he had like base 11 or something like that this would easily be the number one pink diamond but just because of that release a lot of people are not going to really like to use them a lot of people just want to shoot really easily they don't want to really struggle too much but as y'all can see right there the animations are pretty good like i said 95 speed he can do everything this is literally probably one of the best if not the best center in the game just because of the fact he's an all-around center but yeah that's patrick ewing coming in at number three Now, coming in at number two, we got my guy, Mr. Underhand Free Throw Shooter. We got Rick Barry coming in at number two. Um, Rick Barry, he has a 97 layup, basically max layup. Um, an elite shooter. He's an elite shooter. He can definitely slam on you in the paint. Really good ball control. As long as it's an 86 plus, you're going to be able to speed boost. Um, really good steal. He has really good rebounding for a small forward. Like, that's over average. That's like above average. He has um, good speed, which does go up because of my boost. And his speed ball is at 85, so he's going to be able to move up the court really um, really smoothly. And his defense is not that good. It's like, I mean, it's average. Not average. It's good. But you guys see the badges that he does have. He has like, he's basically like a shot creator. He has um, difficult shots, mid-range dead eye, all those good Hall of Fame badges. And then he does have all the scoring badges, um, like limitless, deep range. All those are on gold. Obviously, hustle, rebounder. Because he can rebound so well, but... I'm going to show you guys the um, animations on this card and why he's number two now. He has the best jump shot. I'm not going to lie. He has the best jump shot, but there's a reason why he's not at number one. Like, he is athletic, but he's not at, he's not as athletic as my number one pick. Um, His jump shot is just super easy. So, like, if you want to say he's number one, you can, but he's not as athletic and as um well at driving in the paint. That's why I have him at number two. But don't get me wrong. The, the ball handling is there. The shot is there. The post fadeaway. The post fadeaway is not really there. But the um, fadeaway, the step back, he pretty much has it all. Um, There's no flaws to this card. Literally, the only flaw you might, you could possibly say is that he kind of has mediocre defense. But he does have the 94 steals. So that's def he's definitely going to get a, a ton of steals. You're going to definitely notice that. The Duncan is there. Yeah, um, I, I really have nothing bad to say about this card. Like, he's one of my best scorers simply because how easy his jump shot is. And he does have that quick 21 play, 
which I will be making a video on showing you guys how to um get your shooters open or see what kind of plays your shooters do have. But y'all see right here, bro, this shot is so easy. You're barely gonna miss when you're wide open. It doesn't take long to get used to the shot at all. Maybe like one session of shooting and you're just gonna be used to it just like that. As y'all see, can we just take the time to appreciate how good this man's shot is? That's why I'm just sitting here just shooting with him like crazy. Difficult shots activating. You see him post fading away, stepping away, all that good stuff, step backs. He got it all. Rick Berry at number two. If y'all disagree with me, let me know. But that's just my opinion. Rick Berry at number two. Now, last but not least, we got my guy, Grant Hill. We got my guy, Grant Hill, at number one. Now, this is literally an all-around card. He can literally play the one through three. Um, he could play point guard, shooting guard, small forward. And um, the reason why is because his athleticism and his ball handling, his speed with ball, and his three-pointer. So basically, he has a max, he has a max um, dunk, max layup. Um, really basically like a max mid ranger. His three pointer is only at 86, but it does go to a 90 with my coach boost. I put a shoe on him, so he does get that 99 dunk. He has a 90 contact dunk, so he's not gonna, he's gonna be so athletic in the paint. It's not even funny. 90 ball control with that coach boost, 93 still. Rebounding is there, but I mean, who's gonna really be getting a ton of rebounds with their small fours, anyways? The centers are usually gonna eat up all the rebounds. There goes that 99 speed and 93 speed, 96 acceleration. So that's what's gonna separate him from all these other small forwards. He's gonna be super fast. He's gonna be running the floor like crazy. One man fast break, pick dodger, pick and roll, relentless acrobat, posterizer, and tireless. All on Hall of Fame. Obviously, he has all the shooting badges that he needs. Ankle breaker, flashy passer, deep range, lob, dimer, hustle rebounder, defensive stopper. He has all those good badges that you need from your small forward. Now, when we look at his animations now, his release is not as good as Rick Berry's, but it's going to be um, easier, not easier to green, but um, it's straight up, straightforward. You're not going to kick your foot into defender, not as much as Rick Berry does, but they both have really good jump shots. Like, I barely miss with this um, with this uh, Grant Hill. Um, maybe I'm going to show you guys my percentages after this. Well, it's not going to be in this clip because I didn't record that, but um, yeah, I shoot really, really well with all these cards. Like, the thing that makes this Grant Hill number one is his ability to finish in the paint is insane. Like, he's going to dunk at will. He's going to get layups at will. Like, I've made some of the most insane layups with him. And that's what makes him number one. And his three-point shot is still a 90. Um, Rick Berry is a 94, but Grant Hill is also a 90. So, when they're both open, they both make their shots at the same rate. Um, Yeah, Grant Hill makes his shots and the dunk. That's that's the main thing for me. The pick and roll maestro is also another thing, too. The fact that he has a Hall of Fame picker on Maestro as a small forward and he can literally do everything, that's what's going to make this card number one for me. So if you guys disagree with me, let me know in the comment section down below. But I feel like this order is pretty much accurate for the um, average person that's trying to get, um, not, you guys get what I'm saying, for the average 2K player, whoever's trying to get this card, that's what I suggest you guys get. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all see the best from, it's going from wor best to worst, one through five. That's pretty much it, man. Let me know if you guys want to see the diamond versions and the ruby versions and the amethyst versions. I will be coming at y'all with that video, but that's pretty much it. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. It's your boy, John Ranks, and I'm out. I got that new drip. Shoot it, pop out with the pool stick. F and then Draco extended 30 and it's sent on my hip. 35,000 for the brand new rolling wrist. Bust down my wrist, I flex like WrestleMania. I just might go take that jet to Australia. Young Draco nigga, no international. Pull up a server, paint, no, they don't taxin' them. Hop in Bugatti, push it to the maximum. Young Draco nigga, on dripping blood, drill like